Hello and welcome to TechWatch, the EdTech video news program produced by eSchool News. I'm Dennis Pierce. Nearly 5,000 students and staff signed up for Virginia Tech's new emergency alert system within the first week of its launch last month, according to campus officials. The subscription-based system is one of the newest security updates at the school after a gunman opened fire on April 16th, leaving 33 people dead. The system will send emergency alerts to the telephone numbers, email addresses, and instant messaging addresses of people who register. Participants can choose how they want to be notified. The technology is being provided by 3N, a California-based provider of mass notification systems. The university was in the process of choosing a vendor for just such a system when the April 16th shootings occurred. Seattle high school students who failed reading or math on the 10th grade Washington Assessment of Student Learning are being given the chance to earn an iPod Shuffle, the Seattle Times reports. The catch is, they must spend five weeks in one of two test prep summer programs. The city hopes the programs, a joint project with Seattle Public Schools and Seattle Community Colleges, will help students pass the state exam. And city officials are offering the iPods, which retail at $79, as an incentive to get students in the door. And speaking of iPods and test prep, traditional test preparation companies are embracing the devices as a study aid. Three interactive programs from Kaplan Test Prep are now available for downloading to iPods with video screens. The programs went on sale at Apple's iTunes in June. Nearly a third of online teens say they've been harassed on the internet, with girls and users of social networking sites more likely to be targets according to a new study. However, two-thirds of teens say bullying and harassment occur more often offline. According to the Pew Internet and American Life Project, the most common forms of cyberbullying are publicly disclosing someone else's private messages, sending threatening or aggressive messages, and spreading rumors online. The organization also counts as cyberbullying the posting of an embarrassing picture of someone else without permission. 32% of online teens say they've experienced at least one of these acts. This figure rose to 38% among online girls and 39% among users of social networking sites such as MySpace. Only 26% of boys said they've been victims of cyberbullying. Continuing on the subject of social networking, it appears many teens are leaving MySpace and joining Facebook which started as a college-only site and only recently opened itself to the high school set. MySpace still is more popular than Facebook overall, but U.S. visitors to MySpace who were under age 18 dropped 30% over the past year, while Facebook's traffic from that age group rose about two and a half times during the same period, according to new measurements from Comscore Media Metrics. In June, MySpace had 4.7 million U.S. users under 18 compared with 4.3 million for Facebook. Researchers attribute the shift to the perception that Facebook is safer than MySpace, whether that's true or not. A senior research specialist at the Pew Internet and American Life Project said teens may perceive Facebook as safer because its networks are organized around their real-world identity, like their school affiliation. In contrast, MySpace allows anyone to join and search for other profiles though the company has since made it easier for users to keep portions of their profiles private. ESN TV, your number one source for video news and information from North America's leading EdTech publications, from the world's foremost EdTech website, the eSchool News Network, America's EdTech Authority. Watch ESN TV, encounter the field's most fascinating personalities, the innovators who are turning the old school into the eSchool. Watch ESN TV. Meet notable educators, advocates, and leaders. Watch ESN TV. Get real-time coverage of EdTech's most important gatherings. Stay up to the minute. Get the EdTech news and information you need to succeed. Watch eSchool News TV.